The warning for Americans in Sudan to shelter in place due to an attempted coup that's said to have killed more than 50 people. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge has the latest now on those deadly clashes. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Witch. Yeah, violence quickly spiraling out of control in Sudan. Battles breaking out in densely populated areas of the capital Khartoum. Military fighter jets firing missiles overhead. Buildings burning with a deadly power struggle playing out between Sudan's regular army, led by the country's de facto leader, General Fatah al burhan and a powerful paramilitary faction of the Sudanese military known as the Rapid Support Forces, led by another Sudanese general. That paramilitary group launching an apparent coup with gunfire ringing out, civilians running for their lives. Reports overnight saying at least 50 civilians killed, with three workers from the UN's World Food Programme reportedly among the dead, and nearly 600 injured, many critically, according to a Sudanese doctor's group. Drone footage showing the smoke-filled sky above Khartoum's airport, a fighter jet circling overhead, Passenger planes parked up, hit amid the fighting. Smoke also rising from near to Sudan's presidential palace. Now, before the violence erupted, the U.S. had been encouraging Sudan's military leadership to transition towards a civilian-led government. But those efforts now eclipsed by the fighting between these two military factions. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, urging both sides to halt the violence. Janae? A scary situation unfolding there. Tom, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.